That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. And today's Daily Dose of Stupid, it has to do not with an American, actually. This it may be the first time that I can remember it, and maybe I'm wrong. I'd have to go back and look through my archives. But I think this may be the first time that a Daily Dose of Stupid has dealt with someone who's not an American. And I'm talking about Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada. Now, for those of you who don't know or haven't been privy to this so far in the news cycle today, Justin Trudeau, an old college photo surfaced of him wearing blackface. And if you're unfamiliar with Justin Trudeau, he is essentially a socialist. Well, actually, he is a self-proclaimed socialist. What I meant to say there is he's basically a communist. I mean, he's not really for private, uh, any kind of private endeavors going on. He's incredibly far left. And if you're thinking about how far left Americans have gone, how far left the Democrat Party has gone, Justin Trudeau is even to the left of that because he's too far left in Canada. And it's just amazing that in a, interestingly enough, a college picture of the guy wearing, they called it brown face. I don't really see the difference in brown face and black face. I guess maybe black face is just a little bit darker, but it's the same kind of thing. The guy was obviously uh, in some kind of uh, situation where he was trying to appear to be a brown or black skinned person. And so I do find it funny that what we're looking at today is the left not rushing to call for his resignation. At least there might be a few people on the left doing that, but I haven't seen any prominent figures doing so. And it just is absolutely astounding to me, the massive double standard, because you may remember here in the state of Alabama just, what, about a month ago, if that, there was an old college photo that unearthed about Kay Ivey wearing blackface. Now, here's the difference. The photo with Justin Trudeau was in college, just like Kay Ivey's, but it was significantly more recent than, just, than, than Kay Ivey's. Kay Ivey's was over half a century ago, because Kay Ivey is a lot older than Justin Trudeau. And so this is a much more recent phenomenon. It's not like it happened yesterday or it happened a couple of years ago. But this is something that unearthed about Justin Trudeau that is far more recent than it happened with Kay Ivey. But just like I maintained with Kay Ivey, just like I maintained with the Democrat governor of the state of Virginia, Ralph Northam, they should not lose their jobs over this. Now, Ralph Northam should certainly lose his job, not because he's dressed in blackface, but because the guy actually came out in favor of infanticide just a couple days before that incident took place, and the Democrats took a collective yawn on that and got very fired up about the fact that he got caught wearing blackface. Not fired up enough to actually do anything about it, but fired up enough to gripe about it for two days and then forget about it. So here's what's going on here. We have to get away from this place where we look at a snapshot of somebody's life or somebody who's a political rival of someone goes digging through a person's social media or goes digging through their past to find one unsavory thing about them and bring it out as though it's the only thing that matters. Humans have this weird aversion to nuance, and I'm sure that I've been guilty of this myself because I'm an imperfect human being too. I guess it's because we're lazy or something. But it seems as though we have this weird blind spot to where we do everything we can to actively avoid understanding difficult or uncomfortable concepts. And I find that very problematic. Because the issue that we have going on is that it's as though we, we don't want to understand the context. It's as though we don't want to understand what's going on. Look. First of all, applying our modern sensibilities to things that were going on in the past as a general rule is not a good idea. There are things that were offensive then and are offensive now, but would not have been seen as the taboo that it is now. Not justifying it, not saying it was okay. Here's the bigger point that I think is more important than the one that I made by a great margin. 
Because I think that one applies, but I don't think it's nearly as important as this one. We need to judge people by who they are now. I'm not saying that you forget their entire history. I'm not saying that you just ignore everything they've ever done in their past. But you have to judge people based on who they are now. And if you do hold something that happened in the past against somebody, I think there's two conditions that need to be met. One, they're unapologetic. In other words, they say, yeah, I'm the same person now that I am then. I didn't see it as wrong then, and I don't see it as wrong now. That's one condition where if, if they say that or they don't apologize or refuse to admit that they were wrong, okay, I totally understand why you're judging them based on a snapshot in the past about their life. Because if they refuse to apologize, they obviously still hold the same sentiments of said action. The second part of that is, the, the second condition that I think could be met to where you could judge somebody based on their previous actions, if you is if you're looking at their action, there is a pattern of behavior and there is no pivot point, there is no repentance. Like, look at the guy, uh, Gunn, the, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy that they absolutely crucified and originally, granted, he's back on the job now, but even got the guy fired from his position for tweets that he made a long time ago that were racially insensitive, which he had already apologized for a long time ago and said, I don't want to be that person anymore. That's literally his own words. And then fast forward and he didn't do it anymore. That's a clear sign of repentance. And I hold this standard with people I like politically, with people I don't like politically. I think that there is a grading on a scale of the, the person they are now versus the person that they were then if they've shown a clear desire to repent and move forward. And I think that it is a virtuous thing to do to if they have done that and they have shown a genuine will to do differently from here on out, to accept that repentance as genuine and give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't think Justin Trudeau is a racist. Maybe he was a racist back then. I don't know. It really doesn't much matter. And I can't stand the guy. But he shouldn't lose his job because of this. I think he should lose his job because he's terrible at his job. But that's for the people of Canada to decide, not me. And if they decide that this is something that they do want to hold against him, look, that, that's their business. May not like it, may not agree with it, may think it's dumb. Doesn't matter, I'm not Canadian. I don't get a say in who their leaders should be. Just like they don't get a say in who our president should be or who our senators or house representatives should be. Not their business. But we have to get away from this idea that we can just dig back into somebody's past, find a snapshot of who they were at one point, and assume the worst and ignore every action they have taken since then. I see no reason to believe that Justin Trudeau is this day a racist person. And the same is true of Ralph Northam. The same thing is true of Kay Ivey. People from very different ends of the political spectrum. If you want to know why we're so incredibly divided right now and why we can't seem to come together on anything, that's it. That's the reason. Because we always want to jump to the worst possible conclusion, assume the worst in the other person, and call them a bunch of evil names and pretend as though everything they've done since that point in their life just doesn't matter. It's because we're more worried about scoring political points than we are doing the right thing. <laughs>